Hi everyone, Mariam from Nine Lives Artistry and we're here to do some decoupage. Just, okay. Hubby's going to get it up on the computer. And so we've got the Texan Longhorn here from Mint by Michelle and her decoupage papers. Okay, yep, that's working. Okay, so this is going to be a first for me. I haven't done a live with decoupage yet. So we will work on it together. <laughs> okay. Here's Muhammad. Hey. All right. So. When you jump on, say hi and wait for, okay, we'll get started. So I've decided to pop it on the side. I normally put things in the middle, but I'm trying to get out of that OCD habit. So I'm going to the side. Um, I did give this a little bit of an iron only around his face just to remove any of the extra wrinkles and I've taped down the edge because it's such a large piece and I'll just flip it back and then just pop some paste down. So I've just put, I've actually got a lot of different layers on here. I wanted quite a bit of texture. So even though I'll get texture with the paper itself, I just wanted to put some more on there. I don't know whether I'll keep the base like this, but we'll see once we've got this on and we blend it all in and we'll go from there. Okay. When you jump on, let me know where you're watching from and... I hope I don't fall off this little stool. So what I'm using uh, for my paste is I use Liquitex. Well, that's what I'm using now. Um, Liquitex Medium. It's good for decoupage and transfers, things like that. It's similar to Mod Podge, but a little bit better, I've found. So... I'm just going to take a run up here I don't want to do too much at once I want to be able to do it in sections to keep a bit more ability to manipulate where I want to so. Now I just use the Glad Wrap to just help me work it, work it through. Now it is a rustic piece of furniture and that's the look that I want to keep. I could have used the iron-on method. I'm not actually a fan of the iron-on method. Haven't really had that much luck with it, to be honest. So I tend to use the regular old school method a bit, a bit more. So Alabama says hi and Melinda. Hello. How are you ladies tonight? Okay. When it dries as well, when it's drying, those wrinkles will be sucked down a little bit more. I'll 
I'll just keep doing strips like that. Making sure that I don't miss any little bits under there. So once we've got this on, I'll give it a minute to dry and then start blending the edges in. So that's just to remove those wrinkles? Yeah, the air bubbles. It just helps to... Yeah, thanks for holding the table. <laughs> <laughs> helps to remove some of the air bubbles. So you can see like there's some in there as well. Yeah. So... Annabella is asking, is the transfer paper itself very flimsy? It's not flimsy, but it's soft. So it can take quite a bit of manipulation. Um, you know, you don't have to, but it's not like a napkin or... Um, I've also used some of the rice paper. It's, it's not like either of those. Um, yeah, it's quite tough. So I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on there and it's not um, like it's it's not going to rip on you. I mean, I can still go and pull it up again and reposition it if I, if I need to. Okay. So you've got a lot of workability with it. Um, she's done a really good job with that. I mean, I've done a lot of decoupage with napkins on smaller items, but yeah, these are really, really nice to work with. And it's, I suppose, good for people that haven't decoupaged much as well because, you know, you do have that ability to move them around and change positions and um, play with it a bit more than what you would if it were one of the other ones that were a bit thinner in quality. Just give that a roll around. If this were a piece that I was wanting to, you know, kind of get it a bit flatter and not have that texture, I'd be a little bit more you know, not careful, but I'd be watching a little bit more on where I'm pushing to ensure that bubbles get out, but I do want that texture in there. I don't, I want the textured look. So once it has dried and the bubbles have smoothed out a bit more, I will sit, give it a light sand over the top because it's a table. I don't want too much texture in it. So I want it to be usable. but I also want it to be visually textured, if that makes sense. Visually textured. It certainly does make sense to me. Only because you know my language. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a go? Yes. You're a bit worried that I might stuff this up on you. No, you're all right. Let's give it a shot. So. So you just use the glad wrap and you can kind of see where we were before yeah, and just. Right. Kind of like push those bubbles out yeah. like that. Yeah. I kind of try and go down just so it can stay as even as right. possible. You can still go across, but what I mean is kind of get this sure. part. So just kind of like yes, that right. way so it's kind of keeping it even even as if you're pushing straight. it one way if you're just kind of doing here at the top it can you know make the paper go a little bit skew if right is that good 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's just a bit down the end that I missed. If you can. Okay. It's still not down there properly. There's no glue on that little okay. section. I'm gonna have to get up for this. I'll do it. <laughs> so can I put the glue on top? No. Okay. Well, it can go on top, but I don't want it on top. Right. As yet. So I'll just get a little bit in under there. Okay. I can see this line where the glue is and where mm -hmm. it's not glued. So. Okay, everyone, my name is Mohammed and this is my sidekick, Mary. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Yep. Okay, you so want to put the did I get the stamp of approval? Oh, I still need Don't a bit more cheeky. to go. Don't be cheeky. You won't be on anymore. Here you go. Okay. I haven't put any on there yet. Is that on? It's your show. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bit more? You do this bit, and then with this, and then we'll go have a go with the brayer. Okay. I haven't used a brayer on decoupage before. So you can basically kind of like see it sticking and feel it sticking onto the the table. I can certainly see it because there's a clear line where the glue's glued it to the table. Can you feel it though? A little bit. It's more of a visual. Katie said she loves the videos and she loves your hair colour. Oh, she I only think did you that could today. See it from, <laughs> from there. I didn't know she was my wife when she first walked into the door. You should have seen when I went to pick the girls up <laughs> from school. I had to get out and get a, a Mari's bike, and she's, What did you do to your hair? Then she went up to get her sister, and all I see is her going, like this, and then, Mum, you didn't tell us you were going to dye your hair? <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute when they're in bed and asleep. Yes. Surprised they haven't come down. No, they've been running up and down a bit, but um, I can hear the footsteps. I wouldn't be surprised oh. if they're just having a little peek, but... Um, yeah, they're good kids. Okay, so this is the braille. I've actually put Glad Wrap on that too, because... I was using it for some mixed media and it's a bit sticky and I can't get it off. So the Brea pretty much does the same thing as the Glad Wrap, um, as far as I'm aware. As I said, I haven't used it with it before, so we'll see how I go. It's the same concept, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I like the Glad Wrap because I can feel yes. them under your fingers. Yes. Whereas I can't with this. So, yeah, I must say I'm not, not as much of a fan. Maybe I've just got to get used to it. And I'm still not used to decoupaging backwards or upside down. But it's better for you guys if you can actually see it. So Thanks, Katie. You said that I'm a very lucky guy. Oh. And that <laughs> Yes, you are. <laughs> and that we've got gorgeous kids too. So. <laughs> Do you 
you want to have a go at the brayer? Yeah. The very first thing that I did art wise was I actually decoupaged something. True, true. Yeah, I decoupaged a really nice tiny little horse, which was a gift for my newborn niece at the time. Jeez, how old is she now? Nearly. She's just turned one. Yeah, she's, she's uh, one year old. So, my first artwork was decoupage one year ago. I'm not doing... No, no, no. I'm just removing the glue. Okay, so. See, with the um, brayer, I mean, it's it feels alright, but I can't get those creases out. Like with the... Um... Oh, sorry. That's okay. So, Michelle Tipper says hello. Mm -hmm. Michelle? Oh, hey, Michelle. This is meant by Michelle. Okay, well, it's a great <laughs> coffee table, she's saying. Mm, it's a great paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you find the brayer, Michelle? Keep this Mine's probably not, not a very good one either, so... <laughs> But again, this coffee table is very, very nice. I love the yes. quality of the, um, you know, the carvings that's in front of it, and there's some really yeah. nice detail. So there's a bit. And to top it up with um, should we call it the, a cow, or what's the name of this? Uh, it's a Texan Longhorn. Texan Longhorn. Yes, so, yeah, it's very nice. You can't get any milk out of Texan long huh? <laughs> So Michelle's saying, love a good brayer, a very different effect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're going a bit crooked, I think. But that's all right. Again, this is one of the things that I really like because you can almost see an instant result. Yes. You know? And it's, again, doing something that shows that you finish it. So many times we start things and we really uh, don't finish uh, a lot of things. It goes along in everything in life. But um, decoupage for me for actually being the first thing that i ever did artistic wise was uh kind of like a very quick way of doing something and you know finishing it and having that achievement and looking at something that you finally done and it's very easy and very quick um and that's what i love about a lot of the art that um, we're doing that even for a person like me who's a beginner really doesn't know that much i'm able to use you know the beautiful artwork of uh you know a decoupage paper like this where i am not an artist i can't draw a longhorned um bull what is it longhorned cow a texan longhorn. a texan long i can't draw it myself <laughs> can't even say it, <laughs> can't even say it. <laughs> but but you could actually do it because it's already <laughs> there it's amazing Okay, I'm getting excited here, you know, let's just, um, <laughs> okay. and I really, really, you know, for a beginner in all this kind of stuff, I really love the other, uh, decoupage papers that, um, that the Michelle's got. Yes, yeah. yes. Very, very nice. I saw one of the Asian lady with the watercolour. No. Sorry, that's not, which one is it? Oh. The um, green lady. 
Yes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful things. Just absolutely wonderful. And that's the artistic thing. You don't have to be an artist to do something. You just use all these different kinds of material and things that are available to us. And they just look absolutely wonderful. There you go. That's, um, Mr. Doesn't Know How to Do Much. He's talking too much. No, go for it. I'm concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I'm not good at doing two things at once. I go into my own little zone when I do this. And nothing else matters. Okay, you're live on the mint page too. Oh, really? Yep. Oh. And um, they're saying that you're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got to start somewhere. I, I had the hairdresser telling me today that she doesn't have an artistic bone in her body. I said to her... If my art teacher from high school could see me now, he'd go, no. <laughs> she's not crafty. She's not arty. She's just a pain in the bum. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to get a few areas. So Judith Young is saying, I'm doing Michelle's workshop on the 27th of March. 27th of oh, March. Oh, way to go. And she can't wait. And she said, you make it look so easy, Maria. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a good tricker. You're doing a pretty good job, I must say. I love it. I mean, not everyone loves the wrinkles and the, you know, the aged vintage look and if you don't that's all right you don't need to do that look with the decoupage papers you can use the iron on method you can still get the crispness if that's you know a more modern sleek kind of finish with it also so mm. it's um and it's no longer just as you can see with these beautiful papers that michelle's designed it's not just for, you know, little tables where you, you rip up little bits and pieces and collage them all together like you used to back in the day. Um, yeah, so now here comes the, the fun for you to watch me fumble and fail at blending this. Okay. I don't have many colours that are similar so we're just going to have a bit of a play yeah. and yeah see how we go but i might just give this a little bit of a turn the power on so you want to blend this into the table yes okay Michelle's saying, because you were saying playing around with the colours, Michelle's saying playing is the best bit. Oh, yes. Yes, it's fun. Our six-year-old said to me before they went to bed, she said, Mum, I want to decoupage with you. I said, no, you can't tonight, sweetheart. And she said, but why? I said, because you've got to go to bed. And she said, can I do it when I come home tomorrow instead of homework? I really wanted to say yes, <laughs> but I had to say no. Well, maybe we can video her tomorrow after she's finished her homework and then um, we post it. Yeah. Just gonna get a my water. Side, and so, 
Is that enough or do you want to keep it? Yeah. What I'll do, oops, I'll just put that over there. Just got a bit here. Yeah, I'll try. I've just got a few different brushes here. I usually keep one dry. That one's not. Nice. Um, so I've got a mocha, a made by paint mocha. one here. I don't have any brown. Not a brown brown. So I had to mix one. So we'll see how that turns out. I've got a chocolate but it's kind of not doesn't have the warmth to it that I wanted. So let's go. Can you guys see all right there with the with the blending? That brush was a bit wet. I'll bring the camera a little closer, maybe. Yeah. That way they can see a bit more of the details. Of the paint. <laughs> Might not be a good thing. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Just move the whole thing. Yeah.
Das machen. Do you want to do some? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. You want to use that one? Yeah. Okay. So you're just kind of dabbing it? Dabbing yeah. It just softly and just, and then I'll blend a little bit further in mm -hmm. as well. You just hear footsteps upstairs. <laughs> I'll go check on the kids. Uh, it'll be Anissa, I think, okay. home from... So what's everybody up to tonight? I was just about to fall asleep before. <laughs> I meant besides watching me, Lynn, <laughs> but I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. I'll leave that there for now. Low boy in bedsides. Yeah. You're like me, you don't stop, do you, Ella? <laughs> in your shed. Oh, starting your lockdown. Well, I'm glad you're watching. Hello, Mr. Tucker. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was yelling at him before I came down because I took the the paper upstairs to um, to iron his face a little bit and he jumped up on, he wanted to be fed. So he jumped up on the ironing board on the paper and get off. My 16-year-old's in the room. You go, Mum. Go skits. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yes. I wish I had the strength to be up at 5.30 in the pool. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. I'm, I haven't done much blending. And I haven't done it with a sponge before either, so... It's, um, yeah, it's good to have a play. What are you doing? Your sponge is there. <laughs> I've left that side for you. <laughs> Don't take off now. And I can't even tell you what these colours are because I mixed them. So yourself. Good job. Mm. <laughs> you want some more? And I'll just stick that in there. And I'm just gonna move, through, move around here. So I can see a little bit better. Sorry if I'm putting my back to you. Yes, 
missing that was in Yep, the girls are asleep. Oh, that's good. Woohoo, they're asleep. Sorry, I just took that. So where are we all watching from? We've got some new names there. We're in Newcastle. In the Hunter Valley. start doing is I'm going to bring that camera closer so that there are closer up at us. Okay. Okay. Because it looks very nice and you can't so you're going to give up your job? Well, I'm doing a different job. <laughs> I'm kind of doing a different job. Let's make this work. I can't even see that line anymore. You might be able to see any of it once we're finished, but yeah. it's not going to be mottled like this. Okay. Not as much. It'll blend a bit more. Okay. So Sarah Hawkins is from Canterbury, from the UK, Maria. Oh. It's probably a bit cold over there. Say hello to Sarah. Hello. <laughs> Thank you and for joining us. And you got Judith Young is from uh, Bansdale in Victoria. Yes. Well, Judith and I are in a couple of groups together. Okay. Now everyone can like really see your hair colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. bl blends pretty well with um with it, <laughs> with what we're doing, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, look at that detail. I love it. This is where it's going to get. Okay. Okay, Sarah Hawkins saying it's high, not as cold as last week, and the snow has gone. Oh. I've never seen the snow in your life. Yeah. I saw it tonight, though, on video from my father-in-law, which was nice. Oh, he loved it, isn't it? The, kid, the, the, the kids loved the snow. Yeah. Yeah. And for Dad to go out in the freezing cold <laughs> just to show the kids, you know, it was, it's quite a feat. Diane saying me either. She hasn't seen the snow. Yeah. It looks beautiful. But I really don't know that I'd handle the cold. I suppose you wear the right clothes, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sarah Hawkins saying, let's swap homes next winter. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what our weather's going to be like. I mean, this summer's been ridiculously wet, yeah. wet and yeah, humid at the same time. It's just... Very, um, very unpredictable. Yeah, here in um, Newcastle, New South Wales, basically also I'd say in Sydney, you almost get four seasons a day. We're going to you know? turn into Melbourne soon. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know that? Um, Longhorned, um, what's his name? The Longhorned. Texan Longhorn. The Texan Longhorn. Yeah. He's just like busting to say something. He's just looking us in the eye and he's just... So what do you want to he, say? He's got... He's been taught well though, see? He's just looking. Mm. <laughs> oh, gosh. Seriously. Seriously. You know what? I'm glad I didn't know you were going to do that. Because if you had told me you were going to do that, no. <laughs> you would not have been in here at all. He's been staring me in the eyes and going, you. Oh. <laughs> he has no filter, my husband. And he does not get embarrassed about anything. Come on. <laughs> what do you get embarrassed about? Come like, on. seriously, what do you get embarrassed about? Mm. Not much. Well, Lynn, Lynn Webster's got a lot of smiley faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's laughing at me because it wasn't other than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, when you look at a face like that, I mean, what... It is very nice. Very... <laughs> yeah, this is a bit too modelled for my liking. Look at that. Can someone tell me where that line is? Which it's one? gone. It's gone. It has blended in very, very well. Now, you need some more work here. Can you see here? Yes, I'm doing... Now, I'm like the inspector now, checking all of your work. You know what happened to Inspector Gadget? <laughs> He's... He's not around anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, Bellin is saying hi from the Netherlands. Oh, what was the name, sorry? Bellin. Bellin, oh, that's nice. And what season are you in at the Netherlands? Uh, it'll be uh, Europe, Northern Hemisphere. It'll be the middle of winter, I would say. Yes. Alice saying, he's stomping through the pens to eyeball me. <laughs> yep. And she's saying, no lines. It's pretty good. Pretty good work, eh? Bellin is saying it's very cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must be freezing out there. So to all those in that cold weather, up in Europe, all across the world, thank you for watching. Definitely. And we won't rub it in when we have a nice 25, 30 degree day and we're jumping in the pool and they're freezing. But at least they can ski, we won't be able to ski. Am I ruining this life? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you're asking for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do say it. I just wish I didn't say it, but it just pops out. So, anyway. Oh, well, that's... It is what it is. That's natural. I'm still freaking out because each time I look at him, he just keeps... Eyeballing me too, Ella. Keeps eyeballing me all the time. That's what she was saying. I think that he's eyeballing yes. me. Yes. <laughs> wow. So I think you can see it over here where the, you can still keep going with the Whoa. paint to that area. Where? In here? Like, yeah, in yes, here. Yes, I'm yeah. going to. I'm just trying to get this a little less mottled. I still want the colours there, but I'd rather them be under and coming out instead of on yes, the top. So I'm yes. just trying to give it a light layer.
but that was just way too much. I wet my brush too much. So I'm not even putting paint on, I was just wetting it. Now I'll just get it off here. But I'm really not liking that colour. It's blended in well though. Yeah, but you know me. <laughs> I'm fussy. Fuss pot. So you're not putting too much paint on that brush? No, I just... just I put a bit on there and then I dabbed it off onto the sponge. So, okay. I mean, you can see it's yeah. pretty much dry. Right. It's just a little bit to... Is that when I hear you talk about dry paint? Is that dry, dry painting? Like dry brushing. Dry of, brushing. Yeah. Right. So you just put a little bit so it's not too damp or wet. Yes. Okay. Now I get you. Okay. I can see the difference between here and here. This is blended in. A bit more. This yeah. is like, yeah. So that that's going to be the under. Yes, so yes, yes. So instead of yes. the decoupage paper being in the under, so we've kind of gone over to blend it in and it'll slowly get back to the decoupage paper. That's very nice. So this one is the Vintage Birds Hot Chocolate. So that's the kind of darker. Uh, vintage Bird Hot Chocolate. Hot Chocolate, yeah. Okay. So that's really the only brown I kind of have. I've made a bit more of one just using some other colours but because this is a warm brown and this one's a cooler brown I had to try and mix them all together in between everything else and I wasn't really happy with any that I came out with to be honest but that's okay. They blend quite well I think I think it um blends well with the decoupage paper and the colour. So no, I think it's quite good. So Michelle said decoupage is great for that instant fabulosity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like you were saying before. And then Lynn is saying, is that even a word? Well, Lynn... Michelle said it's a word or it's going to be. Yeah. Lynn doesn't even know my language very well, does she? I don't think many people know my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. My husband speaks Woglish. A mix between English and a language that's not, or somebody that's not, um, where English isn't their first language. So he'll, for example, he'll tell the kids to eat their plate. <laughs> and so you don't eat your plate, you eat your food, or sit on the table. You don't sit on the table, you sit at the table. Just things like that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we rip him off about. Ah. Uh. You cheeky girl. He loves watching you. Yeah, he can watch, but he's not allowed to... Jump on the table. <laughs> yes. When I was cleaning the table down, I had a... I had a little paint roller tray on the edge of the table. And of course, if anyone knows cats, 
they find the smallest little object and fit themselves into it. So he's fit himself into the little paint roller tray and I'm trying to move it so I can clean the table. He didn't want to move so I've just slid the paint roller tray down and he just stayed in there, just looked at me like, what are you doing, woman? This is my bed. <laughs> but he got moved. Diane's asking, is Kitty a Bengali? No. Well, no. He's got a lot of markings similar, but he's just a tabby. Okay. Um, yeah, his mum was actually, she was actually grey. Um, just pure grey, um, mid, mid hair. But yeah, we rescued him. He was, yeah, a rescue cat. Hello. Hello, pretty cat. I thought he might have Bengal in him, but yeah, I can't say for sure. I think their markings are a little bit more defined. How long have we been on for? get this finished on here tonight but I definitely will be posting the finishes So Diane said she had a Bengal. They are hard work and very different to normal kitties. Okay. Different in what way, Diane? More Rimmel, mm -hmm. R-I-M-A-L. Rimmel. Primal, okay. Ah, oh, okay. Now I got it. Yes, okay. I get you. Mm. No, he's, he's not. We had, when we got him, we had... Another cat, she was gorgeous. She was a tortoise shell cat, long haired, beautiful nature. And then when we got this one, we did all the right things and let them eat separately and then slowly got them together. And yeah, she just, she tried to kill him a couple of times and then she went a bit crazy with me and would just, I'd walk around and she'd be on my shoulders constantly. She just did not want, she just got very possessive and didn't want anyone else to kind of have anything to do with with me. And then she, I think she should go Amari or Fadi, that she went one of the girls. And yeah, that, that was the end of it. So we had to take her back to the lady that we got her from who didn't believe really that it had happened because she was so placid until the next person brought her back as well for the same reason. So, yeah, not sure why. So Sarah Hawkins is saying, I have a load of your gorgeous decoupage papers. I need to pluck up, pluck up the courage to use them now. They're just awesome, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that I was able to 
to jump on board with Michelle because they're so easy to work with and I've always loved decoupage. That's one of the things that, you know, my first workshop I did was, was decoupage, just using napkins, but, yeah, that was... Yeah. yeah, my little... I'm just showing them the detail. Yeah, I was just moving around to get this yeah. section a bit less mottled. So I'm just putting water on, a little bit of water on my brush. Okay. And then rubbing it in because it's still, I mean, it's not set or cured. So just kind of reactivating it a little bit with... Hmm. I, I can't even see that line anymore. It's, it's gone. Beautiful. I just want it to blend a bit better with the picture. That's all. Yes. Not um. Not happy with that yet, but we'll get there. Well, talking about cats, we were. Our logo is a oh. cat. <laughs> Nine lives artistry. And my mother-in-law Helen loves cats. Like totally loves cats. And we thought that. The idea of our um, logo and the name Nine Lives in itself came from um, furniture that we notice is unwanted or thrown away or just uh, becomes comes old and it doesn't have that, uh, you know, desire um, that you really want it anymore. Um, we create an extra life for it by redoing it just like what we did with this with this table um and that's where additional lives came and we called it nine lives and added our cats because we absolutely adore them oh, yeah cat they say cats have nine lives yeah yeah so we'll let furniture have at least nine lives too yeah and that's the thing, you know, um, especially when we see the uh, checkout weeks here in in Australia, there's a, uh, for those who are overseas, um, I don't know if they have them over there. I don't know either, but uh, every six months there's, uh, the council uh, gives us a day where we can throw out basically anything, almost anything that we have that we don't need. And I would say that about 60% uh, of the things that are thrown out are all bits and pieces of furniture that we find a lot of on the side of the road. Yeah. And the thing is, it's some of it is, you know, like your Ikea or your Kmart or you, whatever the um, versions are in your country of kind of cheaper MDF style furniture, um, particle board, um, yeah, a lot of it is that, but then a lot of it too are beautiful craftsman made pieces that, you know, people's grandparents had and they say, oh, it's not, yeah, it's not my style, but they don't realise that, you know, you can, you can modernise furniture, you can, you know, grab the the old pieces and turn them into, you know, some something beautiful. You don't need to do a lot most of the time because they're that well built. Yeah. You know, like the old cars, they're actually thought goes into it for longevity. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we've got... Sarah Hawkins saying, my mum loves her cats more, more than me. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so. Sorry, mum, if you're watching. I don't think you are, but. <laughs> and um, Diane McGrath is saying, my business name is Refurbies. My oh, kitty cats yes. are the fur in Refurbies. Yes. It's very nice, very nice. I love understanding what the background of a name of a company is or, a, you know, or, you know, like our children, for example. It's, it's nice to know what is uh, the meaning. So, refurbies is because like of that. Diane's cats. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, some, it's just, <clears throat> they're just practical, but some have a bit, bit of different thought behind it or sentimentality, which is nice. Yeah. Judith is saying it's looking awesome. Thank you. I'll, um, I'll be out for quite a while yet. I feel, sorry, I'm just moving it no, on you. Okay. <laughs> I, um, yeah, it'll take me a while to get it how I... She is a bit fussy, but look at that. That is seamless, Mariam. It is seamless. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I can't. It's just the colouring that I I need to get yeah. to come together, not not necessarily the seams anymore. Yeah, yeah. Just the um, the colouring. So Diane is also saying the blending looks seamless. Absolutely. Look at that. So Dawn Fuller is saying, it blows my mind what some people throw out. I saved a dress though on the side of the road and its stamp is 1963 and I and cannot wait to start fixing it up. Wow. Love what you're doing. Yeah. We went and picked up a dresser. Um, we only paid $15 for it. I couldn't believe it. And what I couldn't believe even more was when we went to pick it up from the girl, uh, she was probably early 20s and she didn't want to just get rid of it because it was her grandmother's, which was great. But when it's actually upstairs now, um, my girls have it in their room, but on the back of it, it had Churchill and that's my last name. And it had the year 19... 1924, I think it was, and I was just gobsmacked. And I said to her, this was meant to be. And so that's why I've kept it, because obviously, you know, it may not have been someone I'm related to, but, you know, there's not that many of us, I don't think. <laughs> so, yeah. There's always stories behind them. And when I do buy them from people, I like to find out what, you know, what the stories are and how they came to get them more yeah so they're beautiful always wear an apron although I don't know quite a few of you have probably seen that the ad post going around Facebook with the um, new um, painted jeans for like $350 or something. They've really stolen that idea from all of us. Because, <laughs> you know, at least ours are authentic and not mass produced. See, my brush is dry again, so I'm just going to Okay everyone, what do you think? How do you find this piece? Do you like it? Do you think she should do more on it? Um, she's never happy. She always wants to, <laughs> but what do you think? Are you, are you happy with what you've seen so far? I'm liking that color up there. It is nice. It's like a rusty. Yes. Sarah Hawkins says it's stunning.
plates. Oh, I need some knee pads. <laughs> Robin McConnell is saying that you're very talented. Oh, thanks, Robin. This is my passion. Still learning lots along the way, but I love it. And I love helping people realise that they can do it too. It's not that I know it all. Any tips, chuck them out there. I'm happy to learn. <laughs> okay, and Diane is saying, I think it looks bloody fabulous. Oh, thanks, Diane. I think I do like the red, a bit more of the red through it as well. I like this little section here a bit more. Yeah. So. Okay. What do you think? It's been an hour and um, yeah. a bit more than an hour. I think it's time to wrap up. And we'll um, post some pictures of it um, once you're finished on our Facebook. And um, Definitely, definitely. Thank you, everyone, for joining. We really appreciate the support. And, yeah, I'd love it if you join us next time for another episode. <laughs> <laughs> or as my daughter would say, if you like it, please like, subscribe and share. Yes. She's eight. Or else and... I'll give you a <laughs> knucklehead sandwich. <laughs> Sarah says, thank you so much. And Lynn Webster says, thank you for sharing. Oh, no worries, ladies. Thank you very much. And thanks, Michelle. Um, yeah, and we'll see you all next time. So if you're not following us, I'd love you if you jump on and follow our, our Facebook page at Nine Lives Artistry. And Diane says, thanks. Was a great watch. Awesome. Bye-bye. Thanks. Don't fuller. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay, everyone. Take care. Thank you. God bless you all. Bye-bye.